You know what? I've noticed the podcast is just pick on Alex time. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I'm glad well, that we all know this. I mean, there's always a broad around you, Phil. There's always a motherfucker talking. That's not true. I'm very sorry. Well, look, to be, to be blatant and honest, I'm going to go ahead. I think there's many words used to describe I'm go ahead and put this out here. The, the three of you have an tendency to talk over people. Yeah. Oh, I you know. don't? No. Yeah, have you no, ever noticed doesn't. me? When Eric does his shut down and get mad, I'm, yeah. I hate this person. I've, I've seen no, it. No, it's, it's, it's not that I hate this person. It's more like I've got something to say, but I'm trying to be as respectful as possible Damn. and not talk over Make somebody. Make like an asshole. <laughs> The problem is, is Adam and I are assholes. Yes, yeah. and we, we, we are used to talking to each other, we're, so we yeah. just get louder. And we were raised by an asshole. <laughs> yes, yeah. we were. You've met my family. You just don't yeah. wait for somebody else to end a sentence. It's like, I've seen you do this a billion times. In my as, house, as someone in is our house. a sentence, it, you just jump right on top of it and like and cohesively take it. In our house, if you didn't, if you took turns, you're fucked. Yeah, that's how it was I mean, with mine. Yeah. You're not ever going to get to speak. And that's so you why might I'm, as well just scream over each other. I don't know how I was raised a little bit differently than that, where, like, my family's terrible, but they didn't ever talk <laughs> over each other. <laughs> That's why Adam cut you off while you were talking. That's true. I, it, yeah. I, and then I realized I was doing it, so I backed <laughs> off. Because yeah. you're a fucking dude. We're learning. <laughs> look, look at, oh, look at his burning what? value. Are we already going time. through it? Right yeah, now? apparently we're in. Well, okay, I uh, just want to welcome everyone to the uh, Infinite Collectibles Blitzkrieg Pop podcast. Uh, we're here in Paducah, Kentucky. Uh, yeah, it's far out, you know, fucking place to be Talking about the shit we're gonna talk about, comics, games, uh, movies, TV, all that bullshit. Uh, I'm Adam, co owner of the store, uh, here with my brother Alex. Hey, I'm Alex. Me and Adam are geeks, lifelong geeks, and we started this business, uh, what, six years ago? But then we've only had the store for four years. Started out as we only did uh, comic conventions, Comic Cons, mm -hmm. and we were diesel mechanics before that. Still are. Uh, would never call myself a mechanic, but that's what we did. And uh, Adam had a bunch of money, and uh, we spent it all buying comics. And we're here, <laughs> uh, we're here uh, in our store right now with uh, a couple of our shitty friends. Uh, you know, losers, deadbeats, shit we've picked up along the years. So, like, we collect shit on our our boots. <laughs> we collect scum <laughs> on our boots, yes. and it is our friends. Yeah. We Literally. have a friend with a thing on his head. He has a large. Yeah, for here. all of you that can't see, he has. Alex likes to illustrate it as a pound sign. Pound sign. When he draws. Uh, hashtag. We, I don't think we should also, say his Christian name. So also for you old people, it's Octothorpe as the <laughs> actual ter term for that. Well, Octothorpe. That's that an is, Octothorpe. That's an Octothorpe. That sounds like. Oh, I thought you meant that hickey Octo on your head. Octo pin, one, that two, is. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. Eight points. So you Dr. Eight. Octothorpe's your new nickname. Yes, uh, Dr. Octothorpe. <laughs> that's absolutely <laughs> happening now. Thank you, Mr. Pedantic. Okay, but, so, what's your name? Go for Munch. it. you got to introduce yourself. Yeah, introduce Never yourself. use your Christian name. I'm, I'm Munch. I hang out at the store most of my free time. <laughs> Because I have nothing better to do. It is nothing to go home to. It is Saturday night, and he wow, is here. That is the most depressing introduction I've ever had. I love it. Where I've texted my wife and said, I will not be home. We will have sex tomorrow. Eric didn't say anything to anyone. That's, there's nobody to say anything to. Oh, he just I cried can't. in the corner and came in. Uh, Look, who's this guy? And who's this talking? Uh, this is AJ. I'm just here because they told me I could say fuck words into a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. AJ works yes. here when, I, when I'm on... Uh, uh, tour oh and Adam God. can't work. Mm. Wait, right? I, love, I love how we're not using Christian names for uh, it, me, but everybody else. Is <laughs> you're the right. only one. You're the only one that has a nickname. You have a legitimate nickname. I've got like 47. Your comic book box says Munch. It doesn't <laughs> <We're> Munchy. <laughs> yeah, Munchy. And um, we got one more guy down here, a relatively new friend that we met through the business here. Still though, same same thing. Picking up shit everywhere we go. Yeah. That's right. Weird, That's right. odd shaped head people. Yeah. yeah, I'll agree with that. Because my head is like, it's like skinny on the top. It's like a six, six and a half si hat size. It's like a smushed grape. But then the bottom of it's real fat. It looks, it looks like an artichoke. Right, right. It's, it's, odd. it's, it's real odd. It odd. Yeah. Well, what's your name? My, my, my Christian name is Sean Hayden. Uh, I, hang out, I hang out with these losers sometimes. <laughs> We yeah. call him We Are Hayden because he loves Venom so much. Loves yes. Venom. The Venom too I am, I am a Venom connoisseur. The villainous Venom vindicator. That's right. Damn, I mean, that sounds like Stan Lee would say something like that. Sound like that. 
So on this dumb show, we're going to talk about everything that we do. And so Blitzkrieg Pop, we love the, the Ramones. We do love the uh, Ramones. We come from a punk rock background. and uh, In Kentucky. Yes, exactly. We know we sound weird to people, okay? I know we that. We draw out our A's. <laughs> I don't say I was. I say eyes. And we do say things like plum tuck. <laughs> plum plum tickle. Plum tickle, motherfucker. Plum tickle. Plum tickle. Plum, 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 plum tuckered out. Um, but anyway, so we know we sound different, but you're not cooler than us because you're from fucking Berkeley, okay? So fuck off. But anyway, we're going to talk about some bullshit now. Three oh. people from Berkeley just turned this thing off. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate when bands of say, All three of we're them. from fucking California. Fuck mm, that. Yeah. That's a great intro. What's our first talking point? <sighs> the first talking point that I wrote down is that April's basically the end of, end of times because everything awesome is going to happen in April. I agree. One Punch Man season two is coming up. I was not including that. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> else was. No. <laughs> Fuck anime. I'm, I'm a little worried about it, though, because it's actually changing studios. See, I don't really? think you should waste... So. Time on the podcast. Alex, is, about Alex has never seen One Punch. Something yet. about that's inferior. You don't, you don't mm. think that we should waste time on anime when there's a huge, huge <laughs> demographic of people that actually do enjoy the Japanese. But we all like in game, so we should talk. All about right, well, that. and we will. We will. We'll <laughs> I'm sure that that will dominate the discussion. So if we use, if okay, we, if we talk about them. Mr. Punch, and I'll stop. Mr. Mr. Punch. Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Punch. It's a uh, it's it's one of the greatest animes I've ever seen, and it, but the the thing that does worry me though is they're changing studios. Like it's uh, going to be a completely different studio doing it this time around, and I don't know how I feel about that. I love the humor and the art of the first one. So right. well, as, as long as they take that and they draw off of the first season and move forward with what they're doing, it should be fine. I don't oh, think I'm there's sure. going to be too many things because I mean we've had studio changes before and other things that did work out just fine we've also had some shit that happens <laughs> we don't know what we're really going to get I'm worried about the shit I agree I agree so. how do you feel about that AJ I have literally no opinion uh, I like the first season. I had no idea there was they were even making a second season until Adam mentioned it like ten minutes ago. So I'm going to be honest there. And we are Hayden. I, I don't anime. I'm with you. I okay. don't anime. I don't anime. Like, I, wait, the Final the last, Fantasy fan does I, I love Final Fantasy. Love thought, you don't get to play Kingdom Hearts that make fun of people. <laughs> I, 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 I agree, agree. I agree with that. Hey, I'm not making fun I of I don't anime. anime is a great t-shirt. I just don't <laughs> anime. Okay. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Copyright. Right. And I'm stealing anime. it, okay? Right. I'm like the guy that created, uh, that stole McDonald's. You heard it first, right here. <laughs> McDowell's over here. Which, that's a great movie, by the way. The founder? Oh, yeah. Michael Keaton Michael is fucking Keaton. amazing. Yeah, as amazing. the vulture, I'm as Batman, and as the McDonald's guy. Fantastic. Ray Croc is his name, but not the McDonald's guy. The Ray Croc, Croc. Ray Croc way. of shit. Michael Either McDonald's. Way. Either way. Michael McDonald's. Oh, wait. S speaking of that, isn't Batman supposed to be recast soon? Yeah. I mean, what now? Who something, now? yeah. Something, yeah. something Batman movie. I, I, I'm confused at what they're even doing. I don't know. I'm lost with DC movies. The yeah. DC thing is like way fucked up now because they I am looking forward to Shazam, though. Yeah, me too. Those shoulders, though. What's up with those shoulders? They're real. I'm telling you, they're real. You I've know, seen... I need a topless <laughs> picture of this guy to prove it because it doesn't look right. It's Zachary Levi. And you know what he looks like? It's Earthworm Jim. <laughs> 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 He, he is a noodle in a fucking costume. <laughs> I get it. I get it now. Get he it. really does look like a, a big does. gigantic costume with a little with a noodle head. Well, he can get I up like there that. and whip his head around. So what do you think about that, Zachary? Accurate. Well, I, 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 look, I'm a fan of Zach. I'm mm -hmm. a fan of Zach from Chuck. Chuck. I'm a fan of a lot of stuff that he's done. I'm, he was the voice of the Monopoly movies. The only reason I watched that thing. And it, was, it wasn't like it was a documentary about Monopoly. Oh. So, like, I, I, you can tell me that the shoulders look fake all you want to. But to me, I've seen him in other stuff. The Marvelous Miss Maisel Season 2, fantastic. And he is bulky. Like, that's him. That's not fake. Now, he was uh, Fangal in Thor, right? Not Fangal. Not yeah, Fangirl. he... he I, read, yeah. I read something yeah. about how he had to... The reason why they recast him, because they recast him in one of the movies, and yeah, the reason why is because he had to stop doing that to do this. And 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 I, I don't know if that was a good decision. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Well, but I mean, the Warriors 3 haven't been prominent. With DC, though, now. like you yeah. had... You yeah, had, dead now. So. You had uh, Wonder Woman was in Justice League. Aquaman was in Justice League. And Aquaman was a huge fucking hit. 
But now they're saying that Justice League never happened. I think that's for the best. It is for the best, even though I enjoyed Justice League just on a viewing. But it's like they're going totally sideways with the DCEU now. It's a, it's a weird thing. I was about to, m- to mention our producer, you know, Dan, but I don't think it's fair to bring him into this conversation because he's probably not going to speak. <laughs> but he's, he's a silent Dan. He's a DC guy. Badly. And he's he, he, def- he defends their bullshit. So I just... <laughs> Speak up. Can't even defend himself. I love it. It's great. It's great. Hey, man. Not Aquaman really. made a ton of money. No, I, I, he, he really didn't. But, but <laughs> Aquaman had a, an octopus playing drums, and how really? many Marvel movies have had that? You're kidding me. Is said. that in there for real? Yeah, I would not bullshit about something. Yeah, that. Yeah, we have had a raccoon shoot, shooting a gun. That's, That's true. true. Oh, yeah. You That's can't. True. Also, when it comes to crazy shit, I mean, they, they both do crazy shit. But well, crazy shit's fun. Yeah. When it's done right, I agree. Yeah. But speaking of the raccoon shooting the gun, <laughs> raccoon. you keep saying raccoon. Keep saying raccoon. Saying what raccoon. is wrong with your pronunciation I'm of raccoon? I'm trying not to be as Kentucky, Kentucky would say as raccoon. Call British. him rabbit. I, I understand. Call him yeah, rabbit call, like Thor does. We'll call him yeah. Speaking of rabbit shooting that, a gun, that's we got in game coming up. You're right, man, and it's going to be fucking. Well, actually. there there is speculation galore, and I've heard. Uh, I keep hearing this over and over again. Oh, there's a. You know, there's a photo that, where it shows. It looks like someone's clearly been edited out of it. Right? Yeah, the Super, the Super Bowl trailer. Yeah, yeah. Wolverine. Yes, and everyone's like, "Oh, it's a, it's Wolverine, or it's the thing, or it's all." No, no. it's Captain Marvel, y'all. Yeah, I mean, Captain. chill the fuck out. It's without a doubt it's, Captain Marvel. It's definitely not Wolverine. Well, I mean, okay. we, we don't we don't really. Tom Cruise has not been cast yet. We don't oh, really man. have the X Men back in our universe yet. They not, haven't not, been completely acquired. Not just, yet. Just wait for that after credit scene. I'm feeling it. Yeah, I kind of feel. I, I'm kind of with you. I think that that's. A real possibility. Like, we'll see a nod to the X-Men Something. somehow Something. at the end of Endgame. I think we will. I, I'm going to disagree. I think we'll see a nod to the Fantastic Four I before we see it to the X-Men. So, do you, do you think we're going to see, like, maybe like a bald head from the back in a chair like we saw with Thanos in the original that would be awesome. I, I, I think that is along the line. We're not going to see, like, Cyclops or anything. I think we'll see a silhouette or... Or a bald guy sitting in a wheelchair. We're going to see something that is a reference so people know it, it that could be, they now have that stuff. It could be just as easy or just, something just as simple as showing the Xavier Institute for Mutants. Yeah. I mean, or yeah. something. Yeah. Just know, something, just a nod something. that they've yeah. got the power over that now. Right. It almost yeah, has to be. Very true. Okay. Well, Endgame is obviously going to be huge. I mean, I don't think there's any. I don't think Star Wars. I know Star Wars is going to come out around well, Star Wars Christmas, and it's going to be oh, junk. Man. But I don't. I'm not trying to get started on that. They're, you know, them and their their fuel agenda that they're pushing. But uh, <laughs> they really are pushing. Star Wars is dead. Let's let Adam talk oh. about the fuel agenda. But well, I, want, I, I want to talk about Endgame <laughs> just a minute more. Sure, sure. You yeah. you had some really good points about Thanos and the Time Gym. I okay. want to hear them. I want I want the audience to hear them. Now, Adam is a lifelong Thanos fan. I wouldn't say lifelong. That that, that would imply that since I was, you had hair on your balls, you've liked Thanos. Maybe before. Probably a little before. Yeah, actually, that's what I'm saying. I, I actually think I remember reading a th- I was reading a book with Thanos in it when mm-hmm. I was like, "What's this?" This. Even though his yeah, younger out. his younger brother right got him into Cosmic Marvel. Okay, well, sure, that's that's, that's probably fair because I got him into Spider Man. That's so. true. Ooh. But listen, guys, Adam knows all about the Time Stone, so let's hear well, what your qualms with this. All I'm saying is, if the idea for beating Thanos is some kind of time travel, I believe in my heart of hearts that that's ridiculous. Uh, I believe that when you have a guy that is essentially the Lord of Time. That time traveling against him is out of the question. My Thanos is smart enough to, as soon as he's touched the the, the time stone, have moved in all directions through time to, to see. He's omni. I mean, yeah. I mean, basically, especially with the six of them. You make a good point. Can because, I? Because because Doctor Strange essentially went through what fourteen million some odd. If he can do it, Thanos can. War. If Doctor Strange, who at this point in time is still young in his powers, I mean, we've got one movie with him learning how to become a magician. And and if he can do that, then surely Thanos can. And he did it without even being amplified by the rest of the stones. Can, can I say? Go for I, it. I think when Thanos says, I know who you are, Stark, or whatever, he says Stark, that impl- imp- implicates to me that Thanos has already been in this reality where he knows mm. what they're going to try to do to that's, stop him. That's, I hope so. Because how else does Is, he know Stark? Here's the big question, though. Is Thanos the villain of Endgame? No. No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. But if he's not, who's going to be? I mean, what the are going to get? If it's Nihilus, I will shit my pants right in it. It looks like that they are really, like, 
Alex showed me a, a picture of a Lego set. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Yeah. You could look it up. There's a Lego set showing the, a, another battle for New York. It's called End Battle. Yeah, and it, it, it has Thanos with the Avengers, and they're fighting creatures that are black and green and purple. Annihilation Wave. It looks like the Annihilation Wave. For, I don't know if you guys... But one of them is clearly if you guys Annihilus. aren't familiar with the Annihilation Wave, you need to read... It's by uh, Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning. It's called... Uh, it's called Annihilation. No, actually, no. Wait, the first Annihilation was by... No, uh, it's the same team. No, it's not. It's oh, no, it's Ke Giffen. Yeah, Keith oh, Giffen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keith Actually, Giffen. yes, yeah. it was the second one that was that was by Andy. Annihilation Giffen. Conquest is the one. Which is yeah. still really good, but not as good but as no, Annihilation. But no, yeah, the, the Keith Giffen written Annihilation is amazing. It's a great it's, 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 it's a great book. Drax kills Thanos in it. Way to ruin it for these people. It's awesome. <laughs> Spoilers. It's hey. the all-time best Marvel event book in my mind. You're not going to spoil something that's... 12 years old. That's oh, yeah. it's, 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 Past six months, it's your own damn fault. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly. In right. the trailer, though, what was really cool was it looked like Steve Rogers' cap was really nervously strapping down the shield for the last time. Now, is this is this his trauma-induced fear because of what's happened, or is this the last time he's strapping the shield down because he's about to get that ass killed? I think that it's the last time he's strapping it, the shield on because he wants to be a director. Uh, Evans has already that's come out and said that he he yeah. put out on Twitter like this is the last hurrah, <clears throat> we're done with Cap. Now it may it may have just been we're done with Cap for this movie, but I felt like that Twitter post was more like an end for Captain America. He's gone. He's out. He's done. Could be. I think that Marvel wouldn't allow that. They keep everything close to their I think, chest. Though, I think I think Marvel would allow that if he's not dying. Because that, Marvel's all about saying. misdirection. They're about misdirection. That, yeah. I agree. I'm saying they're not going to be like, Chris, you can go ahead and say basically that this is your last movie. Right. I agree. Even though we all know that. You know, I, I feel you. You're right. Well, that's enough about Endgame. What's going to happen? Who, who could play Wolverine if he does show up? Oh, I'm, I'm telling you, man. I've, I've, look, I, I, I've not been saying this often, but I've been saying it for like at least the past two hours. <laughs> uh, I think Kit Harrington, like Jon Snow, he's diminutive little fella. My wife loves he, him. Uh, everybody loves him. Everybody thinks he's great. He's adorable. I think if you cut off his hair, give him a little bit of scruff on that face. You know, you gotta trim that down a hair. Uh, I'm, very, not talking, I'm not talking about Wolverine. All I really need to know is why is he named after the car from Knight Rider? Yes. Or is, yes. Yes. Well, not back. Is it the other way? I'm yes. not talking about cutting, shaving his Unofficially, hair. Unofficially, yes. I'm just talking about like he's got fucking. Chest length hair. You got to cut that back a little oh, bit. Yeah. You can give him the mutton chops and that that extra little oomph from uh, Logan's. I don't understand Dog why in the mask. hell Wolverine's hair does that. The mask. Those masks are just flaps. <laughs> I always thought the mask, like his hair, must Filled go it. up into Filled those things, yeah, but it and doesn't. It's, it's, it's just flat on way. his head. So when he takes the mask off, it stays there. I always That's had not this what's thing. going on though. Why the fuck? <laughs> Did, whoever drew him the first time with his mask off, we looked. At, it was like issue one eleven. Was it somebody out in, like in Google World fixed that? But yeah, why draw his hair like that? You could have you could have changed history. His mask can look like that, but why is his do, hair? Do look you remember like the? That? I mean, I, I know you remember. And then the, Beast looks like that. Too. There was a period in the '90s where everyone Jim Lee drew had Wolverine hair. Everyone he still yeah. draws. I mean, we've got that poster in on the bathroom door in there. We have a lot of, of posters that, in the bathroom. That <laughs> Alex Ross painting of the X Men, where you can clearly see Wolverine in the bottom it's corner. Flaps. It's just flaps. It's yeah. not. I mean, they must be starched to keep them like that, but they're not <laughs> full of hair. I know. They're not, they're not they're filled they're not. with hair. And his mask wasn't designed because his hair grows that way. Let's go well, ahead and say this. Says so. you. Says me. Spider-Man <laughs> can't have hair under that mask. So No. You know. That's bullshit. They even make, in, uh, when La Fuente wow. was drawing it uh, for Ultimate Spider-Man, they even made a joke when his hair got too long that everyone kept telling him he had a big-ass head because his hair was pushing his mask out. Which I forgot. I'm pretty sure it was Bendis writing a La Fuente drawing, but I could I'm be sure. wrong. I think it was. So pulling this point back, I'm I'm yeah. I'm a believer that Kit Harrington, Kit Harrington, being a diminutive little fella, as I've said twice now. Wait, I think five five three is the height cap. Yeah, I mean, look, Hugh Jackman, fantastic X Men, X -Men character, fantastic Wolverine, but he's like six four. Thank you. Can't, can't here's the, here's the thing about that. When when those movies first started coming out. Early 2000s, late 90s. Late 90s. Yeah. Um, it was before Spider Man. It, it, it was before we had the technology to make somebody like, say, Peter Dinklage look uh, 20 foot tall 
and it would be believable. I think now the height of the actor doesn't matter as much. But just cast somebody short. <sighs> That's hard. <laughs> Why? It just did because he's Tom so, Cruise is like four foot two. I know, Cruise but Tom Cruise is not going to be. Wolverine. I hope Tom Cruise. I'm saying it right now. Tom Cruise is not my fucking Wolverine. <laughs> exactly. I'm saying that I mean, right I, now. And, 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 and as, as a fuck Tom Cruise. as That's a right. big, I like I like no, 80s, cheesy ass eighties Tom Cocktail. Cruise movie. I love them. Uh, uh, Days of Thunder and Top Gun. I don't care that they're the same movie. I love them. <laughs> so what kind of, same but movie. Tom Cruise is not Wolverine. Another segment there though is like, are there any quality Tom Cruise things outside? of those mm-hmm. besides mm-hmm. live die repeat no never mind <laughs> live, die, uh, repeat. oblivion <laughs> oblivion's fantastic isn't that sky well, no there's yes, a movie that is there, well, it, there is, is. it is an elder scrolls game but this is different <laughs> yeah I've, uh, I've actually got it on blue how do you follow that i let i let aj borrow it he's never returned it after like eight years well, I got dumped, and it went in a box, and, <laughs> well, and it's, it's just it's fucking gone. I'm thinking of the same movie. Is it the one where well, there's something? To do, there's like a white spaceship type thing? You might be thinking about Arrival. You guys. No, that's different. You guys are really Tom Cruise. Arrival, Arrival is the... the Tom Cruise is in Arrival. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, Hawkeye. Yeah, Jeremy Renner. Yeah. yeah, That was a good movie. Back well, up. That was a great movie. I liked it. Tom Cruise, when I see his name in movies or on a movie billboard or something, I immediately say, this project's creatively bankrupt. I immediately say, show me the money. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's another one. Jerry Maguire. That that's not great. Good. It's not great. Oh, it's so but good. Look, okay. If you don't like sports, I mean, if you're into rom-coms, I guess. Well, look, Tom, oh, Cruise, Tom Cruise is not X-Men material. No, he's no, not no, 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 no. He's like 60. Do you, do you, uh, AJ, old. do you have a, a, a choice for Wolverine? Wolverine? Like 300. I mean, yeah, I didn't. I like Eric's Kid Harrington idea, but only yeah. if they take Gwendolyn Christie, make her Colossus, and she gets to throw his ass. <laughs> no special effects. I want to see how far she can get his ass. <laughs> I like that, man. That's good. I'm for it. I'm, well, I'm for okay, it. Well, we're talking a lot about Game of really Thrones. What the fuck's going to happen? I mean, oh, Game of Thrones is coming. I mean, well, I'll well, I, I tell you what, guys. I stopped at season five. I'm not caught up. Oh, dude. Oh, you're only I'll like one, let you borrow. No, like, I got two seasons behind. Hey, listen. Like is okay, there anything yeah, better yeah. than titties and dragons? No, no I don't I'm think serious. so. Well, well you're a bunch of fucking nerds. I thought it'd be cool to have a shirt that says titties and dragons. On. Okay, is there are, are there any cool comics coming up? Anything cool in that, in that uh, you know world? I, I know we just launched Conan. Yeah, it's a pretty big like, success. Conan yeah, is pretty, back. We can't, pretty big success. We can't keep Conan on the shelves, and I never thought I'd say that. I also didn't think that I would read a Conan book and be into it. Well, Jason Aaron's awesome. I would read anything. I would read a fucking that Rainbow Bright book if Jason Aaron put it out. <laughs> I, I probably would too, honestly. So <laughs> yeah, I could, Bright. <laughs> Rainbow Bright has sold out of our shelves multiple times, John. Oh, dude. What you know what else? Conan happens in sold April? out of two printings. War yeah, of the Realms yeah, happens in April. Oh my yeah, God. Well, World of the Realms. Realms. Yeah, April's awesome. a big month. Yeah, April. And that's Jason Aaron. Like, yes, and I'm going to crap my pants by issue Thor two. has been awesome by Jason Aaron. What happens after like April? Seasons. Like, everything sucks after April. Spider-Man yeah. Homecoming Mysterio has a bowl on his fucking... No, I have a boner for, for that. Yeah, I have a awesome. boner with a bowl at the end. A little glass <laughs> dome boner. <laughs> you can see inside of it. It's got a little fall. Yeah, I it. mean, when I saw that trailer, I almost passed out because all the blood rushing to my crotch. I was just like, <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe it took us this good. long to get to boners, honestly. Right? <laughs> that is pretty amazing. <laughs> We're usually on the boner talk. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we first saw the first Avengers, and you know, lots of casual goers didn't know, movie goers didn't know who Thanos was. Oh, at absolutely! The end. And I remember walking out, and I was like, as soon as I saw Thanos, my <laughs> boner turned purple, <laughs> and I had those <laughs> really things. Cliche. Yeah, and and someone behind me was like, "What the fuck is this guy <laughs> talking about?" <laughs> Alex, you jumped out of your chair and goddamn near flipped over oh, the seats in front. Oh, I was so excited, man. It was awesome. And here we are. I mean, Thanos is fucking... Like, My Thanos, Thanos is permeating is. culture. My kids told me there was a, a fat joke at school. Your mom is so fat, Thanos had to snap twice. That is amazing. Thanos got referenced for the Super Bowl, it's, right? It's permeated into the Super Bowl that Tom Brady Thanos. is being called the Thanos of the NFL. Thanos. And there's actually merchandise and shirts and things that have a purple yeah, face and Tom Brady. May I say that Where he's not worthy? Go. Please. I mean, may I say that Tom What's, Brady's not worthy? Seriously, of like well, what he's saying. Pittsburgh Steelers is the best go. team. But. I don't fucking do football, but I'm just, I'm just saying no football player is worthy of comparison. <laughs> but what, what, what I'm so. saying is how cool this geek world we live in where Thanos I know, is I can, I can, Thanos. I can, hey, there was a guy that used to live near me that in high school and before, actually way before, he would always talk shit about, you know, oh, you're a comic 
you know, you're into comics, you're a dumbass, and blah, blah. And I see him mowing his lawn in a Captain America shirt. And I'm like, really? <laughs> really, motherfucker? Is that where we're at yeah, right now? Yeah. You're mowing your lawn in a Captain America shirt. And, I, and that, I believe he's also the kind that wears a tap out shirt. Well, Probably. Like, like, I wear my worst shit whenever I'm mowing the yard. Why would <laughs> oh, you be wearing it in making a that tap point. shirt? That. That's a good but point. But this guy's got a rotting lawn mower. Maybe he's a Batman fan. And he's mowing his yard to catch <laughs> Don't even it. get me started on that, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're right here at the end of the show, and we got a thing that Eric... There it is. <laughs> yeah. We're right here at the end of the show, and we have a segment that our man Munch came up with, so here we go. He does not like being called your man. Trust me on this. <laughs> he is my man. So uh, what, what, what we figured out we wanted to do around here was a little segment that I've, I've begun calling, uh, If You Haven't, You Should. Uh, it's basically a small segment that we've cut out that you're just going to have something that if you've never read it, seen it, heard it, then you should. So we got AJ here going to tell us a little bit about something. Yeah, Does like, it have a little theme music with it? Yeah. Like, can, you have it can, yes, you, can you have it? Yes, you I think that's the music right there. <laughs> we're working that out. We're working that out. So that was the intro. <laughs> I should not have done that. But <laughs> that's why I brought beers with me, so. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to start this segment here uh, with a fairly well-known book that a lot of people have heard of but never actually read, uh, Sandman, which if you've talked to me for more than five minutes, you know I brought it up for at least an hour at a time. Yeah. Uh, but uh, to me, I was always into comics as a kid, but this is the one that took me from going from liking them to absolutely loving them and making them uh, an annoying part of my life. But uh, it's the story of the... S- seven primordial beings that represent the universe in particular dream who has been locked away and uh, is coming back to restake his claim on his land but uh in the process it follows a lot of people connecting to him Uh, it's one of the first comics i ever remember that actually like didn't go with you know everyone being the perfect body style and you know everyone looking the same a bunch of white people with square heads uh, uh, had a lot of early, even like LBGT rights with uh, stories, which you don't really, which are only just now starting to become a thing. So back in the 80s, it was a new thing. But uh, it's the whole story is basically about how you have to change and adapt with things or you die. And uh, it's not super long, 75 issues, about 10 trades. And uh, it's the greatest comic ever made, and I'll stand by that and fight people. And it's by? It's by Neil Gaiman. Uh, the first arc is drawn by Sam Keith, who's a personal favorite of mine. Uh, you get Jill Thompson going into it some. Ah, hell. Used to, I could name every single artist off the top of my head, but I'm getting old and my brain's turned to pudding. <laughs> but uh, uh, even if you, if you like that, too, there's about eight different spinoff books. There's some going right now called The Same Man Universe. You can come and get a subscription to them now. I'll give you my books from it as long as you let me read them first. But uh, if you haven't, you should. Perfect ending to the first show. And that was it. That was our first show. Uh, so to, this is the part where we say, like, follow us on Instagram. Or, <laughs> We're really sexy. Or if you don't have... Uh, look at us on Instagram. <laughs> What's your Instagram? L- look at photos of us on Instagram. The D- least, or don't. I mean, spare yourself. The least fucking uh, appealing thing in the world. Look at us on Instagram. Look at... Old, uh, balding, well, most of, well. <laughs> Male pattern three, baldness and Three common. or five of us are, yeah. are, are balding. Me, AJ me has AJ. a sexy yeah. head. Look, Dan's yeah, rocking hair. the power, don't. I mean, <laughs> okay, if we're counting Dan, then, we, the, 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 then I mean, the baldies are taking over These the heads are That's fucked. True. That's true. But anyways, Real what is our Instagram, AJ? Infinite Paducah? Infinite Paducah. Yeah, Instagram, Infinite Paducah, hashtag Infinite I think we have a Facebook as well. Yeah, but you can't find on Google because you changed the damn thing. Oh, so this our store used to be uh, Gamers something Paradise. different, Gamers, Gamers Paradise. Paradise, and uh, Alex refused to change the name of the Facebook page for about three years. And uh, whenever I finally bullied him into it, I realized I fucked everything up and broke it. Yeah. So if you just uh, look for us on Facebook, it's under Infinite Collectibles. Um, is that tables or tibbles? Because I know there's tibbles. A, like, tibbles. T-I-B-L-E-S. It's proper spelling. Uh, we're also on YouTube. We do a bunch of crap on there. Um, just check out Infinite Collectibles. It's an accurate Paducah. description. Quit laughing. <laughs> <And> <laughs> it's true. Though. I mean, it's, it's absolutely true. Um, 
anyways, so we'll see you guys. Well, we will not see you. you we know. will never see you. Probably <laughs> never see you. You will hear from us again, motherfuckers. <laughs> That's a threat. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Thanks a lot for listening. Munch. <laughs>